so in today's class of mathematics i am going to do one of the theorem okay show that the union of two equivalence relation is not necessarily an equivalence relation okay so show that the union of two equivalence relation is not necessarily an equivalence relation proof is what let a take a set okay a is equal to small a comma b comma c and let r and s be two relation on a this r and s are the two relation on this a given by r is equal to what a comma a b comma b c comma c a comma b and b comma a okay and s is equal to what a comma a b comma b c comma c b comma c and c comma b okay now it can be easily seen that each one of r and s is an equivalence relation on a but r union s is not transitive okay this r union s is not transitive because a comma b belongs to r union s okay this a comma b a comma b belongs to r union s okay and b comma c and b comma c belongs to r union s r union s right this r union s but but a comma c does not belong to r union s but there is no a comma c is not there okay so hence r union s is not an equivalence relation on a since you all know the definition of what is reflexive transitive and symmetric over here it's given so it is not transitive see you all can see the condition to be uh, what should be happen for transitive okay so so for a relation to be a transitive a relation r is a subset s into s on a set s is said to be transitive if x r y okay x is related to, uh, to y and y is related to z implies x is related to z for every x comma y comma z belong in r okay so x comma y belongs to r relation and y comma z belongs to r but it implies that x comma z belongs to it also uh, the condition is x comma z should also belong to r here uh, a comma c is not belonging to r union s that's why it is not an equivalence relation okay it should satisfy all this condition for an equivalence relation it should be reflexive trans uh, symmetric and transitive okay you okay, can take down the definition of reflexive that is a relation r is a subset s into s on a set s is said to be reflexive if x is related to x is true for every x belonging to s and that is x comma x belongs to r for every x belongs to s symmetric a relation r is sub uh, is a subset s into s on a set s is said to be symmetric if x is related to y and y uh, implies y is related to x for all x comma y belongs to s that is x comma y belongs to r implies y comma x belongs to r for all x comma y belongs to s and for transitive what it is a relation r is a subset s into s on a set s is said to be transitive if x is related to y and y uh, y is related to z uh, implies x is related to z for every x comma y comma z in r that is x comma y belongs to r and y comma z belongs to r implies this two condition implies x comma z belongs to r and you all can take down this definition i hope you all have understood and thanks for watching